everybody. Mm. Only person I didn't get a letter from was Georgetown. Wow. Yeah. That was on, and I probably would have went to Georgetown <laughs> because I was a, I had a Georgetown Syracuse, I mean, a Georgetown starter jacket before I had a Syracuse starter jacket. Because mm. we all grew up being Georgetown fans. And you John know, you see in this icon. You seeing this icon John Thompson on the sideline, then you seeing all these kids. And people don't know that um Georgetown is really this lily white university. Yeah. You know, the average person don't even understand that, no, you know, about Georgetown. Strong academics. Yes, very strong ac academics, man. For him to have all these kids from Baltimore yeah. and everywhere else playing it. So I asked him that one time. He came to Detroit to interview me. And um Set in the barber shop in, in my neighborhood, man, and the the kids that I mean, the what they men now talk about that to this day, like wow, you had John Thompson in the barber shop, and I mean, wall to wall, nobody could even get in, man. After the cameras left, everything, and he sat there and answered everybody's question and everything, man, for like two and a half hours, wow. you know. And I asked him, I said, Coach, man, I got letters from everywhere. To go to school I said man you never sent me a letter from Georgetown you know I said why why you never recruited me and he say he say Derek I had one crazy motherfucker from Detroit and I said once he left I would never recruit <laughs> another crazy motherfucker from Detroit and he said it just like that whole barbershop bust out laughing man but yeah I got recruited by everybody Michigan Michigan State North Carolina UCLA Indiana Duke I mean everybody the only person I never got a letter from was, George. was Georgetown wow so yeah. was the exposure to the Syracuse camp did that help your decision going oh no without question being there on, on that campus and you got to think at that time man the Big East was the number one conference yeah. in the country. Yeah. You know, I mean, me running home every Saturday to watch, and this is before ESPN, you know, to watch Syracuse play, play Georgetown. Mm -hmm. You know, that was our, our rivalry. So at the time, the conference was just on top of the world, you know, and I always wanted to be a part of that. I'm like, man, I'm going to the Big East, man. Like, these dudes on TV every week, mm -hmm. their conference is real strong. And again, you know, I wanted to go to Georgetown. You know, you had Georgetown, St. John, Syracuse, Villanova, you know, and uh, I, I loved it, man. And getting the exposure to go up there to be on the college campus at 13, you know, years old, it just fit right in, man, yeah. To, yeah. to everything that I wanted to do. And then getting the opportunity to actually you know, to go there and to play and freshman year go all the way to, you know, the national championship. Like, that just set the tone. But mm -hmm. when you look at it, you you understand this. At that time, if you can go back and research, we, we dominated college basketball. I'm just talking about the state of Michigan, period. You couldn't turn the TV on anywhere and not see somebody from the state of Michigan on TV playing at major universities. So, so what do you what what do you think happened? You had John Thompson.